Hi, we have this sentence and we want to make a tree structure for it. So I'll begin by writing each class or the words. Here we have an ad, um, an article, which is a determiner. So I just write the ET for determiner. And over here we have navel is an adjective. So we write a b j of a. Each word I will write for it its class. Okay, here are the classes for each word. A is a determiner, it's an article. You can write article and then above it determiner, but you have to say it's a determiner. Then navel is an adjective. Architect is a noun. Is the verb and a determiner. Engineer is a noun. Who is a relative pronoun. Is is a verb. Responsible adjective. For is a preposition. That a determiner. Na um, design is a noun, and is a conjunction, construction is a noun, of is a preposition, commercial is an adjective, and is a conjunction, military is an adjective, marine is an adjective, and vessels is a noun. After that, we look for the main verb in the sentence. So we can separate the sentence into a verb phrase and a noun phrase. The main verb here comes right after the noun phrase and a naval architect is here is this is the main verb although we have another verb here but this is the main verb. So this will come in our verb phrase, our main verb phrase. What we're gonna do now is make the main noun phrase so, I will uh, connect these together. And they will make up my noun phrase. Okay, after that, we look for the other phrases that we have, other than the verb phrase. Because under the verb phrase, we have a lot of things. Okay, so we'll take them one by one, by one. If we see here, we have the, ver the verb, then the determinant, then the noun, and they are followed by a relative pronoun. A relative pronoun gives me a, a whole other sentence. So, uh, the relative pronoun and what comes after it, all of this is another sentence, okay? So, we'll leave it now. We'll go to the preposition. And for the preposition, uh, we will have a, a prepositional phrase, okay? So, we can take do the phrases of the preposition first before anything else preposition for the design and construction of blah 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 uh, so the preposition and everything that comes after it they go under the preposition of uh, the prepositional phrase so we have here the preposition comes under the prepositional phrase And everything here will be a noun phrase that, that is following for the prepositional phrase. And we have another preposition, so we have another prepositional phrase. So we can make another prepositional phrase like this. But it's gonna go under the first prepositional phrase because it follows it. So 
So here we will have another preposition of phrase. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is start from the top and write S. Under S we will have the noun phrase, the first noun phrase that we wrote over here, and we'll have a verb phrase. So I can write the under the verb phrase, we have the verb. And we have a noun phrase. So I'm gonna make an arrow. And I have a noun phrase. My noun phrase is made of what? My noun phrase is made of the determiner. Um, I'm just going to put this a little bit lower so we don't confuse things. Okay, so under the noun phrase, we'll have everything else. We'll have the determiner. We have the noun. We have something. We have here the relative pronoun in our way. So before uh, the relative pronoun starts a new sentence. So we're going to make an arrow under the noun phrase. Like that. And write S2. Because we'll have another sentence. The other sentence is also made of a noun phrase and a verb phrase. So we have to think where is the verb phrase? The verb phrase here starts with is. And the noun phrase starts with the relative pronoun. So I'm going to make two arrows. They're going to be the noun phrase and the verb phrase. My noun phrase here is just the relative pronoun. So I'll just join it only with the relative pronoun. And my verb phrase is the verb. And everything else. Okay, what comes right after the verb is supposed to be usually uh, the verb phrase. We usually put a noun phrase and a verb. But here we don't have a noun right after the verb. We have an adjective. This is called an adjective phrase. Okay, so I'm going to make a Why do we have an adjective phrase? Here we have a copula that is followed with an adjective. So we have an adjective phrase. So I will just try it. A. T for adjective phrase. And it will be made of everything else. Okay? Um, before we do the adjective phrase, we can write the noun phrase for the prepositional phrase because each prepositional phrase has a noun phrase. So I'm going to take an arrow out of each prepositional phrase. 
and try to sign it in P for nine noun phrase. Here the noun phrase is made of adjectives and conjunction and the noun, so I'll take others and put them in the noun phrase. And here we have the noun phrase made of the determiner, the noun, the conjunction, and the other noun. Okay, so I have here two prepositional phrases, an adjective sitting alone, and an adjective of phrase. So we can just join the adjective with the adjective of phrase. Join the prepositional phrase to it also, and this prepositional phrase also. If everything is joined up to the sentence, then we're done. This is done. But of course, this is a draft. You need to wipe everything out and write it in a more uh, organized way. How are, are we going to do that? You have to put. Here we have what's coming out from the sentence. We have the noun phrase coming out from the sentence and the verb phrase. So, because they are coming, from, they are sisters, they are coming from the same mother, we have to put them beside each other. And here, what's coming out of the verb phrase, the verb, and the noun phrase. So we have to put the V and the NP beside each other, and so on. I'm going to organize it now and show you the final result. Alright, here is a more organized table. We have the coming out from the sentence. We have the noun phrase and the verb phrase. And uh, from the noun phrase we have everything in the noun phrase is they are beside each other because they're all coming from the noun phrase they are sisters and from the verb phrase we have the verb and the noun phrase and uh, take care of something here i wrote the verb which is is and i didn't write the auxiliary in the exam you have to write the auxiliary so you have to add another arrow and write auxiliary I'll do it. Alright, here I added the auxiliary. The auxiliary here is the tense only. You don't have anything else except tense. And the tense is present. You don't write the present here. You should write it before is. And it will be written right beside it. But I didn't have any space. So I just wrote it in red here. Just to make you take care. After that, you write the, um, the verb. The verb is is. You can write it be because you already wrote present. But is it also okay and then you write the noun phrase under the verb phrase and that's it under the noun phrase you have the determiner you have the noun and you have the other new sentence which began with the relative pronoun and from the sentence two like just just like sentence one you ha you must have a noun phrase and a verb phrase the noun phrase in ca case of a relative clause is a relative pronoun and the verb phrase have the same thing. We can write the auxiliary, we can write the verb, we can have a noun phrase, but in our case here we don't have a noun after it. We have responsible and this responsible is an adjective. So that's why I didn't write V and N B like here, V and N B. I just wrote V and A P, which is an adjective phrase. So we have the verb and the adjective phrase. Coming out from the adjective phrase, we have the adjective. We can have only the adjective by the way, you don't have to have another thing under the adjective phrase but here we have a prepositional phrase so I wrote PP for it and we have uh, for the prepositional phrase you must have a preposition and a noun phrase so I have the preposition for the noun phrase I didn't put it too much into detail even though we have another prepositional phrase here but uh, I just made a triangle here, this triangle shows me that everything under the triangle bro belongs to the round face. And that's it. Just don't forget the auxiliary. And good luck.